Rock by City in PowerPoint Rufus Mr. Gordon. His temper was infamous, and those who crossed him often found themselves on the receiving end of his violent outbursts. Diaz's mansion was a testament to his anger issues, with broken furniture and shattered glass linen floors. One day, as Diaz sat in his open living room, the kitchen flew in through an open window and landed on his private sports car. In rage, Diaz grabbed a shotgun and began shooting with bird and athlete, pushing it for daring to find his property. The sound of gunfire epically mentioned as Diaz's anger reached boiling point. But it wasn't just pigeons that felt the wrath of Ricardo Diaz. His intelligence seemed to be compromised by his rage, as evidenced by a particularly hilarious incident involving a DVD player. Diaz had purchased a new movie and eagerly copied the player, only to become frustrated when it started. He furiously pressed the power button over and over, shouting and cursing with the classic device. In full rage, Diaz pulled out his gun and began shooting with the DVD player, convinced that it was somehow to blame for his movie not playing. It was only when he noticed the unplugged cord dangling from the wall that he realized his mistake. Despite his blunder, Diaz as well allowed him to simply buy a new DVD player without second thought. Despite his often idiotic behavior, Ricardo Diaz was not entirely without intelligence. His cunning and ruthlessness had earned a fearsome reputation in Vice City's criminal underworld. But for those who knew him well, Diaz was more of a comedic, annoying clown than a true mastermind. As the sun set on another cab day in Ricardo Diaz's mansion, the echoes of his angry shots and gunshots faded in the night. Vice City would never be the same with Diaz at the help, a volatile and unpredictable force to reckon with. Ricardo Diaz was known throughout Vice City as a powerful and ruthless drug lord. His mansion was a fortress of luxury and excess, filled with expensive cars, beautiful women, and piles of drugs. But despite his wealth and power, Ricardo Diaz had a dark side that often reared its ugly head. Ricardo Diaz had a temper like a volcano, ready to erupt at any moment. He would fly into rage over the smallest things, destroying furniture, smashing windows, and screaming obscenities at anyone who dared cross him. His anger issues were legendary, and those who worked for him lived in constant fear of his wrath. One of Ricardo Diaz's favorite pastime was shooting pigeons. He would spend hours stuffing birds, his eyes full of madness as he came and fired. The sound of gunshots echoed through the mansion as he maniacally hunted down the innocent creatures for daring to poop on his precious cars. But for all his wealth and power, Ricardo Diaz's intelligence often seemed compromised. One day, he decided to watch a movie on his DVD player. He put the CD into the player and pressed the switch on button repeatedly, growing more and more frustrated as the movie fell apart. He shouted and cursed across the DVD player, his anger blowing over as he shot it over his back. It was only when he saw the plug from the DVD player dangling uselessly from the wall socket that he realized his mistake. He had forgotten to plug it in, but to Ricardo Diaz, it didn't matter. He had enough money to buy a hundred more DVD players if he wanted to. Despite his antics and his often conscious behavior, Ricardo Diaz was not entirely dumb. He had a cunning intelligence that allowed him to rise to the top of the criminal underworld. But his anger issues and his tendency to lash out like a petulant child often overshadowed his intelligence, making him more of a familiar figure than a pure drug lord. In the end, Ricardo Diaz was a complex and contradictory figure, a man of wealth and power who was also a slave to his own anger and insecurities. And as he said in his mansion, surrounded by the wreckage of his latest outburst, he needed no amount of money or power to ever truly satisfy the emptiness inside him. Ricardo Diaz was known throughout by city as a powerful and ruthless drug lord. His mansion was a fortress of luxury and excess, filled with expensive cars, weapons, and beautiful women. But behind the facade of wealth and power, Ricardo Diaz was a man plagued by anger issues and a volatile temper. One day, as he sat in his lavish living room, Ricardo Diaz decided to watch a movie. He grabbed a CD and popped it into his DVD player, but when he pressed the switch on button, nothing happened. In rage, he began to press the button repeatedly, shouting and cursing the plastic DVD player for not playing his movie. In fear of anger, Ricardo Diaz grabbed the shotgun and started shooting with the DVD player, and after firing round after round of the plastic casing. But no matter how many bullets he pumped in it, the DVD player remained suddenly silent. It was only when Ricardo Diaz paused to catch a breath that he noticed the plug from the DVD player was not attached to the wall socket. He stared at it in disbelief, realizing his mistake, but instead of feeling embarrassed or foolish, he simply shrugged it off. After all, he had enough money to buy a hundred more DVD players. Despite his moments of idiocy, Ricardo Diaz was not entirely dumb. He had a certain cunning intelligence that allowed him to rise to the top of the criminal underworld. But his anger issues often clouded his judgment, turning him into a comedic and annoying clown in the eyes of those around him. As he stood in his trash living room, surrounded by the wreckage of his latest outburst, Ricardo Diaz chuckled to himself. He may have his flaws, but he was still the king of my city, and no amount of destroyed DVD players would change that. In City Underworld by City, two notorious criminals reigned supreme, Ricardo Diaz and Lance Vance. Both men were known for their ruthless tactics and chaotic behavior, but a question on everyone's mind was, who was more chaotic? Ricardo Diaz was a powerful drug lord who ruled over my city with an iron fist. He was feared by all who crossed him, and his violent temper was legendary. Diaz had a reputation for being unpredictable and volatile, often lashing out at his enemies with brutal force. He had no qualms about using any means necessary to get what he wanted, whether it be bribery, intimidation, or outside violence. On the other hand, Lance Vance was a smooth technical artist who had a knack for getting himself into trouble. He was known for his flashy style and quick wit, but his impulsive nature often led him into dangerous situations. Lance was always looking for the next big score, and he wasn't afraid to take risks to get it. His reckless behavior often put him at odds with Diaz, who saw him as a liability rather than an asset. As the two men clashed in battle for control of Vice City's criminal underworld, chaos ensued. Diaz's brutal tactics clashed with Lance's impulsive nature, creating a volatile mix of threat to tear the city apart. Two doubts, crutches, and explosions became common occurrence as the two men fought for dominance. In the end, it was clear that both Diaz and Lance were equally chaotic in their own ways. Diaz's brutal violence and ruthless ambition clashed with Lance's reckless behavior and impulsive decisions, creating a perfect storm of chaos in Vice City. As the city burned around them, it became clear that neither man could truly claim the title of the most chaotic. They were both equally destructive forces in their own right.